In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to carry out percentage decreases by using a written method. Now, of course, there are several really good written methods, and I'm just going to use one of them. And for my written method, it relies on looking carefully at these percentages here and converting these to decimals. Once we've done that, done that, we can actually solve. So let's get on with number one and let's take a look at it. 120%. So the first step in converting it to a decimal is converting it to a fraction. So it'll be 120 over, well, percent means out of 100. So it'll be 100. From here, I simply do what this says, which is 120 divided by, the fraction bar means divided by 100. Now 120, if you look at it as a whole number, the decimal point is here. And when I divide, I move the decimal point to the left. How many place values the decimal point will jump is entirely dependent upon how many, how many zeros there are in the denominator. And in this case, there are two zeros. There are two zeros in the denominator, so this decimal point is going to move to the left one, two jumps. So now I know that 120% as a decimal is 1.2. Now I can rewrite this statement here as an equation, which is 98.2 multiplied by, right, multiplied by 1.2. So I can do this by hand, so let's do that. So 1.2, I'll just reformat that information. Don't need that anymore. Okay, so let's solve. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry that 1. 2 times 9, that's 18. Plus that 1 I just carried is 19. So I'm finished with that. Finish with that. Hold the place. I'm now up to 1. 1 times 2, that's 2. 1 times 8 is 8. And 1 times 9 is 9. Now I just need to add. So that's going to be 4, that's 8, that's 17, and that is 11. Where does the decimal point go? In my answer, I look to the question. However many decimal places there were in the question, 1, 2, that's how many have to be in my answer, 1, 2. So the decimal point must go here. Now this is equal to 120%. So all I have to do now is understand that it's going to be 98.2 minus 120%, so minus 117.84. Now when I look at this problem, I can immediately see that it's going to be a little bit awkward because it's going to end up as a negative number. So I've got a really quick and easy way to solve that problem. The answer is going to be negative. So what I tend to do is, okay, I just swap that around so that this number goes first. So 117.84, and then I subtract this original amount, 98.2. Okay, now this is the wrong way around, but it will give me the right answer as long as I make sure that I remember that the answer is a negative answer. And then I can just do my subtraction. So 4 minus 0, that's 4. 8 minus 2 is 6. Decimal point, put it in. 7 minus 8 we cannot do, so we have to borrow. This becomes 17, so this is 9. 0 minus 9 we certainly can't do, so I have to borrow. That becomes a 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. And so the final answer is, now I'll just clear up the board a little bit. And remember... I said the answer had to be negative. Okay, so the final answer is negative units of measurement, $19.64. And that's how you can do those kinds of questions where you end up with a negative answer. Number two, let's check out number two. 52% as a fraction will look like this. 52% means out of 100. The decimal point is here. It's going to be moved to the left. How many jumps? One, two. One, two. So now I know that 0.52 is the same as 52%. So 
So essentially now I just have to go 98,750 multiplied by 0.52. So yeah, I can do that by hand and I'm going to have to. So let's get on with that. Just reformat this information. So multiplied by 0.52. Okay, let's get on with it. 2 times 0, that's 0. 2 times 10, it's, uh, sorry, 2 times 5 is 10. So the 0 goes there, we carry the 1. 2 times 7, that's 14, plus 1 is 15. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17. And 2 times 9, that's 18, plus 1, that's 19. Okay, so I've finished all those guys. Finish with that one. Hold the place with a 0. 5 times 0, well, that's 0. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 there, carry the 2. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2 is 37. 7 goes there, 3 goes here. 5 times 8 is 40, plus 3, 43. And the last one, 5 times 9 is 45, plus 4 is 49. So now all I have to do is add. So we have 0, 0, 5 and 5 is 10. That's going to be 15 now. That's going to be 13. That's going to be 11, and it's going to be 5. So, what we have here is, oh, and we have to put in our decimal point, nearly forgot. So, where does the decimal point go in this? Well, there are one, two decimal places in the question, so they have to be one, two decimal places in the answer, so the decimal point goes there. So now this, you will remember, is 52%. This gets subtracted from the original amount, so all I have to do is 98,750, and I subtract. I'll start from the units, 0, 5, 3, 1, OK. So let's do that, 0, 0, 4, 7, 4. So I'll just make a little bit of room. The final answer is... Four, seven, four hundred. Forty-seven thousand, four hundred. And that's all there is to it.